So add another pro athlete to the list of people learning that what you tweet as a teenager can and will come back to haunt you. This time, it's one of ours. National shortstop Trey Turner. Sports director Darren Haynes is here to talk about that. Nationals Trey Turner tweets include a gay slur, anti-gay comments, and a joke with racist undertones. The tweets date from 2011 to 2012 when Turner was only 18 years old. He's now 25. Turner apologized saying it doesn't reflect who he is now. The tweet though that said once you go black you're going to need a wheelchair, that's a quote from the movie White Chicks. In regards to the gay slur and anti-gay comments, yeah, I'm not reading those because they're unacceptable. In a matter of less than two weeks, though, we've seen the same situation happen to Braves Sean Nacombe, Brewers Josh Hader, and now Trey Turner. They've all apologized and said this doesn't reflect how they feel now. If that's the case, why didn't they go back and delete all the things they don't agree with anymore? I spoke to a few NFL players. They tell me teams hire people to check players' social media accounts. Does Major League Baseball do the same? If they do, it's not working, Adam. Thanks, Darren. So how do you handle scrubbing your social accounts and how do you talk about it with your kids? Our Stephanie Ramirez talked to an expert who told her the secret could be fake accounts. That sounds terrible. That, it, it, it's not. Bradley Shear compared it to sex education. Do you teach abstinence or protection? The best piece of advice for teens, the best way for them to shine online is to minimize their digital footprint. What about just not posting what you wouldn't say to your mother? Well, that's the best piece of advice, but hey, we're talking about teenagers. I'm a parent, okay? I know exactly the fact that you might tell your kids don't do something, but they're going to do it anyway. It, it's basically um, they're going to do things until they get burned. His company helps scrub that digital scarlet letter and teaches best practices. She is the CEO of Digital Armor. His history includes working for the NFL Players Association. First, you want to make sure you do a digital audit. What that means is that you want to do a Google um, search of yourself. Companies like Digital Armor go through Google and flag what you should delete. They may even get rid of an account altogether. But when you hit delete, is it really deleted? The short answer is no, it's not permanently deleted because you have to think about this. Whenever you're posting something online, it's in the cloud, and these companies have multiple backup servers. So technically, when you hit delete, it's technically deleted from everyone being able to see it on your personal public profile as long as other people haven't taken a screenshot of it. And here's something you want to remember. Universities are also looking at what prospective students are posting and liking on social media. Sure says just count to 10. Think about it before you post or react to anything. Adam. Heed the advice. It's incredibly important. Stephanie, thanks.